Good morning, everyone. Uh, I am Congressman Stephen Horsford, proud to represent Nevada's fourth congressional district, and thank you uh, for joining uh, my press call uh, this morning. I wanted to talk about uh, the legislation that I've introduced, H.R. 8661, the Guaranteeing Unemployment Assistance and Reducing Deception Act, the GARD Act, um, based on all of what uh, we've seen related to uh, the unemployment system. The pandemic revealed many structural inadequacies of our nation's unemployment system. Some of these issues though were pre uh, prevalent even before the pandemic. Uh, during the pandemic, we added weeks and weeks to the traditional unemployment insurance program and at the federal level created the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program to help people who traditionally would not have qualified because of the work that they did, like Uber and Lyft drivers and independent contractors who also needed support. All across the country, but especially right here in Nevada, we heard from people trying to access their benefits and facing delays and sometimes even the inability to simply apply because the system had become overwhelmed. On top of that, criminal organizations seized on the opportunity to make a quick buck, finding ways to illegally access people's benefits, sometimes simply by applying as someone um, they simply knew existed and had a job. That is why today I'm announcing the introduction of the GARD Act. Uh, this is a common sense bill um, that would enable aggressive action to recover pandemic unemployment benefits that were paid to criminals. It supports prosecution of ringleaders and helps fraud victims, which I have heard from many of my constituents uh, were, were taken advantage of. It would authorize ongoing funding for the multi-agency task force coordinating fraud recovery efforts. The bill also protects against the future use of weaknesses discovered during the pandemic by requiring states like Nevada to participate in cross-matching systems that allow early detection of the most common types of unemployment insurance fraud. It allows states to use up to 5% of the recovered fraudulent payments to invest in stronger systems and require them to use fraud penalties and interest to prevent future fraud. Now, the bill also gives the Department of Labor new tools to assist, penalize, and reward states based on performance in key areas, including equitable worker access to earned benefits. What I saw is that in some cases, uh, particularly women who were uh, displaced at higher rates were not treated the same in receiving UI benefits. Timely and more accurate payment. Um, this is something, again, that many of my constituents faced, where even when they were um, considered eligible, their payments did not receive in time to cover their expenses. It would require uh, the Department of Labor to work with states to improve data collection and technology modernization, something that I've been working on for some time now with other members, including uh, Senator Wyden in the Senate. And finally, it would improve program integrity and fraud prevention. The bill authorizes appropriations to fund improvements in performance, state support, and program integrity once the American Rescue Plan funds are exhausted because we know that unfortunately there will be another downturn at some point and we need the unemployment insurance system to be there as a bridge to help individuals until they're able to return to work. Now I'm so thankful to have the support of uh, the National Employment Law Pro Project, NELP, uh, in this legislation. And to talk about their support, I'd like to turn it over to Jenny Jerry, Senior Staff Attorney with NELP. Thank you, Jenny, for joining uh, us for this call today. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you for your leadership on the GARD Act. 
it's a positive step in starting to address the long-standing inequities in the unemployment insurance system that shut out far too many workers, particularly Black workers. Um, as Congressman Horsfair said, my name is Jenna Gary, and I'm a senior staff attorney at the National Employment Law Project. For decades, NELP has researched and advocated for policies that create good jobs, expand access to work, and strengthen protections and support for underpaid and jobless workers. As many of you know, thanks to all the federal pandemic expansions and enhancements of the unemployment insurance system, unemployment insurance became an absolute lifeline for tens of millions of families during this pandemic, keeping 4.7 million people out of poverty in 2020 alone. Yet the pandemic and the need for the pandemic programs also laid bare the serious shortcomings in the unemployment insurance system, particularly the long-standing racial disparities and the need for robust systemic reform. The GARD Act is a step in the right direction to start to tackle some of these shortcomings by addressing the problems jobless workers face when trying to access unemployment insurance, improving how state agencies measure how they are meeting the needs of jobless workers, and strengthening the program's ability to preserve resources so that those who need unemployment insurance are able to receive it. That's directed to the Department of Labor to establish performance standards, to ensure that state unemployment programs meet equity, access, and benefit delivery goals, and mandate better data reporting on key equity metrics are two particularly important parts of the bill. Current data reporting by states it's extremely limited and is not generally desegregated for important measures such as race, ethnicity, gender, and disability. This means we don't have a true measure of the barriers that prevent underpaid workers, particularly Black, Latinx, Asian, and Indigenous job seekers from receiving unemployment insurance. Once states start reporting data to the Department of Labor, then Congress will be able to develop targeted remedies to address inequities. Similarly, as states need additional funds to better support their unemployment insurance programs, the incentives in the GARD Act to meet performance standards are well targeted and will likely drive improved states' administration of unemployment insurance programs, including upgrading IT platforms and making them worker-centered, hiring sufficient staff to be available to adequately assist workers with questions and processing claims in a timely or fashion. We look forward to working with Representative Horsford on the first step to reforming the unemployment insurance system and to his continued leadership to advance important system reforms to ensure that all unemployed workers, regardless of race, gender, ethnicity, disability, or how they are paid or where they live, can access adequate economic support through unemployment insurance in good times and bad. So happy to be here to support this, this bill. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jenny Gary, for your leadership and for your expertise and um, thank you for again highlighting the need um, for the legislation and the need to improve data collection um, based on demographic information something that we have found that i'm obviously a member of the house ways and means committee which oversees the unemployment insurance program under worker and family support subcommittee and um, not a, not every state collects nor are states required to report this uh, demographic data to the Department of Labor, which is a shortcoming of our federal unemployment uh, insurance uh, system. It does not allow us to target those initiatives, whether in workforce development, retraining, or other uh, areas. And so I really appreciate you highlighting that aspect of the legislation, in addition to um, cracking down on uh, these criminal rings that literally have stolen um, billions of dollars from the taxpayers and from those who should have received those benefits directly. Now, um, I'll just conclude and then we'll open it up to question and answers by saying, um, you know, I didn't come to Congress to defend every federal program or to um, protect every agency. Uh, in fact, there are some things that need to change and need to be reformed. And this is one of those areas. I've heard from Far too many of my constituents who were impacted, um, again, during the pandemic by trying to access unemployment insurance and the federal pandemic unemployment program that was established. But because that infrastructure was not in place and the systems and uh, protections weren't uh, in place, many of the people who should have received those benefits haven't. Um, and so my effort in this legislation is to address a real problem that is systemic, that can be um, improved over time. This is not to say we need to eliminate it. We need to improve it 
strengthen it, protect people's ID, um, and, and strengthen um, the systems so that both the fraud and the criminal rings that have occurred are addressed while also working to improve the data integrity elements uh, that help uh, individuals receive the benefits that they need. 